Hey, how y'all doing? It's been a while and the camera's at my crotch. A while back, and by a while I mean a, a while back, a fellow commenter suggested that I make a video where I lay out my favorite books or all-time favorite books or any of that good stuff. My top 10 favorite books of all time. Brackets for now. My comfort book, Savior's Champion by Jenna Moresi. It's one of the only books that I've reread because I needed joy. If you know anything about this book, it's about men dying. It's like the bachelor slash bachelorette, whatever the dude version is, but bloody and gory and the men die. I don't know how it became my comfort book, but it became my comfort book. And I guess I just, I, I'm really comfortable. <laughs> The next book on the list is a book I haven't necessarily reread, but it was one of my favorite YA books growing up. Sci-fi, mystery, from what I remember. And it's essentially about this orphan who goes to this boarding school and things aren't necessarily as they seem. The Hate You Give. It was and is and will continue to be a really, really important book considering this is a reality for many, many people. It's about a teenage girl who unfortunately sees her friend get shot by the police. This creates this huge issue and dynamic between her as a person identifying herself and trying to figure out how to express her frustrations and what exactly she feels for her community, for her friend, and for herself and what she's witnessed. It's real, it's raw, it's about police brutality and the horrors of our society today. Well, not necessarily today, it's been this way, but it left a little, not a little, a lot of like hurt in my heart. The next one, Born a Crime by Trevor Noah is a non-fiction book. Trevor no Noah was born during an apartheid in South Africa. So he had a Swiss father and an African mother. And because of it being illegal, he in result was born a crime. In his words, in Trevor Noah's words, this book started off as an autobiography about him, but in the end, it turned into a love letter to his mom. It's a really, really, really important read my personal opinion. <laughs> Three Day Road. Now this book is definitely one of my faves and I will be rereading this. This is one of two books that I actually fell in love with. No, wait, one of three books that I actually fell in love with because of school. Usually when people are forced to read in school, it's books that they don't necessarily want to read. But because I was in a uni English class, there was a list of books that you can pick out from. And for some reason, I picked Three Day Road and I'm so glad that I did. It's about a war veteran uh, who is indigenous. He basically is on this boat with his aunt and throughout the story you have perspectives change. So you have two stories that you are kind of um, living through. What was so brilliant about this book is that it takes Canadian history and the realities and horrors of Canadian history and tells it in a way that is hard to digest at points just because of how raw and real it can be. Even though it is a fiction book, a lot of the events that have happened is not far-fetched to actual history. Well, that went on a serious note. We are all completely besides ourselves. This book also made me cry. It had a lot to do with family and how family is defined, not necessarily only on a human level. I found it through Meghan Markle's reading list, which I did a video on. It was phenomenal. It, it made me cry, but I cry a lot, so I don't know if that means anything to anyone anymore. Giver, another book from school. This one is dear to my heart. Honorable mention, The Outsiders, which is also dear to my heart. The reason why it's on my list is because this was my first stepping stone into dystopian. And considering that now I am a writer that is writing a dystopian novel, Eager Girl has come a long way and this book has definitely influenced my taste in reading and what I necessarily like. Dystopian fiction is my favorite genre out of all, although I am a huge fan of anything and everything but dystopian is like my main it's like my main chick it's it's none of the side pieces it's the main chick a children's book that i've recently read it's called little prince i absolutely loved it 
loved it. I am even going to the extent of having a tattoo done. Little Prince got me into wanting to read children's books because I was never read to as a kid. Trauma dump. Going back and reading children's books or what was meant for children means a lot to me right now and the Little Prince kind of opened that gateway for me. Now it's allowed me to branch out, be open-minded and start reading kids books to my like for myself buying kids books for myself i don't have kids rolling around it's just for myself it's a little technique in like inner child healing that i'm personally working on bitch you ain't about to cry on camera okay next book switching it up a bit romance if you love the whole enemies to lovers trope if you love the whole he doesn't like people but he likes her trope yes this is for you and it was definitely for me i am a sucker for romance i've been writing fan fiction since i was like like eight <laughs> no probably I don't remember a lot of my memories from the past. I do not remember. Trauma dump. Absolutely loved it because of the dynamics between the two characters, the tension between the characters, romance and sexual tension, just all of it together. Perfect. The last one, but not least, my absolute favorite book of all time is 1984 by George Orwell. Everything about it invoked emotions within myself that kind of made me question what exactly I feel about today's society, our use of technology, our um, idea and idolization of our governments, of our politicians, of people in power, and this whole idea of Big Brother, feeling like we're being watched over, all of that, Mwah. chef's kiss. Well, those are my top 10 favorites so far. And by so far, I mean in the last 24 years of, of living. I didn't include Geronimo Stilton and The Outsiders, which was an honorable mention. Yeah, that's that's the end of the video. I hope to be more frequent with my uploads. I will try this month. Bye. Hey.